Welcome back to a mini series about how to create a podcast feed using WordPress and Blueberry's PowerPress plugin. In the previous two episodes, I've shown you how to install the plugin and how to configure the plugin. And now it's up to us to create actually some content and add it to our first episode of the podcast feed so that it can be used in podcast clients and submitted to podcast directories. I'm creating the Super Survivor podcast, which is the continuation of my my book Broken Bowels Tales of a Super Survivor and this is now a series that's available on my other channel on YouTube and the audio versions of that will be available as an audio feed through this podcast that I'm creating here. So the one thing that I have shown already in my WordPress backend here if I head over to posts. There's the one post that I had prepared in the very first episode. That's this one here, Nobel Prize for the Inventors of Immunotherapy, which is the drug that has cured me. And we have already put that into the relevant podcast season one category. And at the bottom, we can now see that there's a new option that's available here, which is called podcast episode. And this is here because the PowerPress plugin adds that underneath every post and it allows us to specify a media URL in here. So that's the actual URL of the file that will be downloadable from the podcast client. So it could either be technically a video file, it could be an audio file in various formats, it could even be a PDF. But usually when we talk about podcasts, then most of the time we're talking about an audio feed. So what I need here is either an MP3 file or an M4A audio file. Both will work. MP3 is kind of recommended because it has the widest reach of literally any audio player in the world. Most of them that literally 99.9% .9 can play MP3 files, especially older devices. They, everything can play MP3 files. M4A is kind of a newer type format. Most devices, Android and iOS can play those, but it's not 100% compatibility there. So I'm going to use MP3 files for that. Where you host the files is completely up to you. It can be on this website, on my own website, on your own server. It can be a completely unrelated URL. So you can put this into a Google Drive folder. You can put it into a Dropbox folder. You can put it into Amazon S3. Anything that makes it possible for that file to be accessible by the public with the link can be added in here. So I'm going to host this on my own website and for that I need to upload that file first. So I'm going to go over to my media uploader and click add new. I'm going to do that in a new tab. That's important otherwise this page closes and I don't want to do that. I'm going to go and select a file from my hard drive which is in fact on an external hard drive here under audio super survivor season one and these are all the episodes that I intend to put on that feed. So I'm going to click the first one. It's only four megabytes. It's only a four minute episode. I'm going to click choose and then the WordPress media uploader will upload that to my website. And once it's done, kind of think about it for a second, it will give me a URL. So if I click the edit button, so this is the file that's, that's on here now. If I click the edit button, then a new tab opens and in there I get a quick preview for the player. Always good to listen to it if you if that is actually the content that you actually want to put on there. Very important. So do that for your own safety. And then on the right here, you can see the file URL. If you double or kind of triple click that and copy the URL, you can then go and close that tab, go back to your original episode here and the, the, the post dialog. And on the bottom here, you can just paste that in. That's a very long URL here. The plugin gives you the option to verify the URL. So just quickly click that and it will tell you if this is actually a valid URL. So what it'll do there is it'll try and go out and fetch that URL. And if it's successful, you'll see this green field here that says media verified successfully. If for some reason the privacy settings are not correct, then the plugin will flag that up here. So it's a very nice way of seeing is my file accessible for the podcast clients, kind of an emulation of that. It'll also tell you what the file size is in bytes and what the duration is. And uh, auto detection only works with MP3 files, but we have that, so that's cool. So all we need to do now is specify a publication date. 
So if I were to hit publish now, then the publication date will be right now, which is, I don't know, the 9th of November or something. And I don't really want to do that. This has already happened on the 4th of October. So I want to publish this. Okay, posthumously is the wrong word here, but I want to publish this going back into the past because several episodes will follow that date. So it's very important to remember. You can do that under publish immediately. You can just click the edit button and then specify the date. So right now it's the 10th of November and my episode was actually had already aired on the 4th of October there. Sometime let's just go and say eight in the morning. It doesn't matter if you create a new episode after that, then just make sure your new episode has a date that's set after this or a time that's set after the time on which this episode has been published. Otherwise, the chronology or the order in which all your episodes are displayed in the feed will be out of order and you don't want to do that. So as soon as I've caught up in that feed, I can just go and hit the publish button for right now. And then that's the date on which subsequent episodes will be published. But for now, because I have a bit of backlog here that I'm working on, I'm going to do that and uh, perhaps even create a little calendar entry on a calendar so that I remember when I've published which episodes. Uh, very important, just an organizational little aid there. Click OK and hit publish. And that will now make this episode with the attached MP3 file in there, adding it to the feed. So that's, that's very important that we do that. When we're done, we can go back to our cast feed validator here. I've still got it open. I think I might just close that. And uh, oh yeah, actually I've got another tab open here, which is the category of my podcast. That This is how it would appear on my website. So let's uh, refresh that and see what happens here. This is what the whole post looks like. There's nothing displayed underneath it here. So we're going to uh, come to that in a moment. For now, let's just worry about that feed and head over into a back end again under PowerPress and go under, whoops, and <laughs> go under category podcasting which is what I've set up here. And I'm going to click into my category. In fact, I don't actually click into that. I'm just going to click validate feed. And then the cast feed validator will come up and let's, let's validate that feed again. See what it looks like now as a comparison to what we've seen earlier. Now look at that. All our hard work has paid off. We now have an image that's displayed here. We have Super Survivor Season 1. That's the title of my podcast. We have a subtitle. Oh, we have a description, which is not quite the one I had expected. So let's fix that in a moment. And it will tell us that we have one feed item. And that's perfect. We can see that here. That's it. And we can also see on the right hand side, this is when we have posted it, namely on the 4th of October, 4.42 a.m. I guess that's Pacific time. I'm on Eastern Standard Time here. So it's, that's where the, the three hour discrepancy comes in or four hour discrepancy even. Uh, it tells me that we have an enclosure info, which is an audio file of 3.8 megabytes. That's kind of close to the four megabytes that we had expected there to be. And we can even play this and we can see the media link here. So that's all in order. So if we submit this to iTunes, they will probably be happy. I'm not quite happy because I'd like my description to be here. So let's see how we can fix that. Kind of a spot the deliberate mistake here. Eh? <laughs> so head over to posts, categories, and that's where I've put that description in there under podcast season one. This is it. Join Javis Lewis on his post cancer survival journey and inspirational moments that come with it. I might rephrase that, but for now that's okay. I'm going to copy that. Head back over to PowerPress category podcasting into my podcast season one. And under Apple, I'm going to go into the iTunes program summary. I'm going to paste that description right in here. When I'm done, I'll just hit save changes and see if that is being prominently featured on my cast feed validator. I believe I can just refresh this page for that to, oh, there we go. And then we get this validate button again. Let's see if it, if it works now and if it comes up with the proper description here. That hasn't quite worked here, so maybe I also need to add that description under the feed description here. This is literally the, the first item that I get here. Leave blank for category description. I don't know why this hasn't quite worked yet. I've never had an issue with that before, so I'm just going to leave everything as it is here for now. Great. All I need to do now is take this feed here, which I can just hover over 
and then copy that feed. Again, I can make sure if I open that in Firefox, if it is actually giving me the correct address in. Yeah, it's, it's correct. It's my domain, category, podcast, podcast season one feed. And if I select that in Firefox, I'll get kind of the raw version of the feed. And I'm kind of happy with that. So now, oh, there we go. Now we've got the description right here. So it is actually added there correctly. So all I need to do now is submit this whole thing to the various podcast directories. And I guess the most important for me is the Apple Podcasts directory or the Apple iTunes directory. Let me just do that now while I'm here. Do that in a new tab. And the way we need to do that is under Podcasts Connect dot apple dot com it's kind of a new service that apple launched i think in this year only 2018 you can just log in there with your apple id and your password and that'll give you access to the directory so that you can submit the feed by yourself these are all the podcasts that i've currently got on the directory and it'll give me ways of looking at the statistics for that but all we need to do is click that little big or big little plus button here and give the service the URL that we've just pasted in here. So just to make sure what URL that is, just to uh, just to go back there, if you go into the back end of your website, if you if you try to find that feed, you head to PowerPress and in my case, if you don't use category podcasting, you can access it from straight from the front page here. But because I've got category podcasting selected, I'm going to have to go into that and then I can see the, ver the relevant feeds here. The second one is the actual validate link. So don't use that. It's the top one here, which is kind of shortened. But if you right click on that, you can say copy link and that will give you the link to your feed. That's the one that Apple needs. And that's exactly that one. Make sure it ends with fee at the end. That's the only thing that you need to make sure is there. And because we've already validated it, we're kind of probably happy with the fact that Apple will also going to be happy. We can click validate here again. And this is something that Apple will now pull in and then we'll see what's happening here. We've got the website link. This is the one to the actual category. You can also override that for that to be the uh, main page of your category or a separate page that you're going to create explaining what the podcast is all about. I might do that. And here we can see the first episode is here on the 4th of October. So it looks like Apple are happy with this. It's prepared for submission. So the next thing we need to do is hit the submit button. Apple is going to do that. Think about it for a moment and give you this success message. Podcast successfully submitted for review. So now what's going to happen is that a team of humans is going to look into this. And if they're happy with what you've provided there with the content, then they will put it live. This will take a few days and there's also holiday schedules that they sometimes put out that they say, well, we don't accept anything during the Christmas period or during the Thanksgiving period, which is which is coming up in a moment. So it may be a little bit delayed for that reason. But, you know, they're going to let you know in a few days, maybe in a few hours, you'll get an email that will tell you if the podcast has been accepted and a link to it as well. And as soon as that happens, you can then let people know where to find your podcast. So now I'm back to the home screen here. If I refresh that, then usually what, ha what happens is that the new podcast is in here already. It's kind of grayed out and submitted for review. There we go. That is how you get your podcast created and submitted to Apple Podcasts. And other directories have different type of submission procedures, but it's very similar. You usually have to pick a category or it's all enclosed in the feed. They will let you know when you do that. I've already got another video on this playlist that is how to submit your feed to Spotify. That is a new thing that was only possible uh, earlier this year if you go via something called an aggregator. But now Spotify have opened this service up to people like you and me. So anyone can submit their podcast feeds to Spotify. It's very, very exciting. In the meantime, while you wait, don't hesitate to add other episodes to the podcast feed via WordPress. So that's very important. You don't have to just submit one episode. If you only have one episode, no problem. But if like in my case, if I have another 15 others, then I can just go ahead and create new posts in those categories, making sure that the timestamp is correct so that the chronology or the sequence in which these episodes are being submitted 
is correct depending on the post date and you can just keep submitting them and eventually when Apple are happy then the whole feed is going to display in the Apple podcast directory. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series about how to create a podcast using WordPress and PowerPress. If you liked it, then of course, please share this video and the whole mini series with friends, family and total strangers. If you want to support me in my mission of making the world a better place, then don't hesitate to head over to my Patreon campaign. You can get funky goodies in return, such as a free copy of this book, even a free copy of my other book. And you can even get your name in the credits. You can get free web hosting. You can get all kinds of other stuff and of course you'll earn a very special place in my heart when you do thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other funky things i do around the internet take care i will see you next time bye bye